Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel Tech and Tips with King. In this video, I'm going to show how you can run Slackware Linux in your Android using LimoPC emulator. So, without any wasting of time, let's get into the video. In this video, I'm going to show how you can run Slackware Linux in your Android using LimoPC emulator. So, in my there are a lot of videos on my channel you can check out. I have shown how you can run any version of Linux. So, this is the another version of the Linux. So Slackware, this is this is the OS based on Linux, and in this video I'm going to show how you can run uh, in your Android phone with using Limbo PC emulator. So basically, this is the very uh, old version of the Linux Slackware Linux, very old version. So first of all, you have to download uh, the Slackware Linux, the downloading in the description, and second thing, you have to uh, download and install the Limbo PC emulator, the downloading in the description, and make sure you are. Uh, Installed the 5.0.1 version of the Limbo PC emulator in your Android phone. So as you can see, this is the Limbo PC emulator and this is the interface of the Limbo PC emulator. First of all, you have to click on the none. So I've already clear created the machine. So I'm going to just click uh, show you how which settings I have done in this Lim Linux. So let me just uh, get the all Linux. So inter interface will be same as the default. You have to get into the CPU board. You have to select architecture 86. CPU model you have to select Chrome 32, KEMU 32. The course will be 4 uh, RAM. I'm selecting 200 MB of RAM. I am going to enable the MTT CG and I'm going to uncheck the TSCC. So you have to do settings in the CPU and board. Now you have to get into the disk. You have to select the uh, Linux which I have told you to download the image file. Uh, the Slackware after downloading it will be the zip file. So you have to extract it. After extracting you will get a C dot image file. So make sure you are going to open the c.image file, the download in the description of the Slackware. And you have to get into the boot, you have to select uh, the boot from hard disk. And you have to get into the network, the network will be going to support uh, in this Linux. In my previous video I have already uh, tell that uh, the network will going to work with every Linux. So this is the Linux and the network will going to work. So network you have to select the user and network card you have to select the default and you have to click the high priority in the advanced so we have done all the settings uh, in the limbo pc emulator so before starting up uh, the linux i'm going to turn on the screen rotation of my android phone so now i'm going to click on the play button after clicking play button the slackware os has been started putting up over here and after you have to just uh, enable the keyboard by clicking on this uh, keyboard icon you have to click on uh, the enter button you have to click on the enter button in the keyboard like this so after clicking enter button as you can see it will saying loading linux and it will start showing some scripts and commands in the screen so here it will going to take some time so uh, after some showing some commands it will going to ask the uh, login details so let me just uh, fast forward this video here and come back to the next step So as you can see in the screen after showing some commands it will saying welcome to Linux 2.4.20 and it will saying local host login. So here you have to log in. Now you have to type some commands. So I will put command on the screen so as you can see login you have to enter root. After entering root it will ask you to enter the password. The password is admin and as you can see it will showing up on the screen. So I just now have entered the password. It will don't show the password. It will hide. So let me just click to enter. So after uh, entering the login ID and password. So as you can see it will saying root at localhost. It means the, the Linux has been started. 
now you can use it in the scripts in commands but uh, we want the environmental desktop so we need a desktop so to start the desktop you have to enter this command start x the command is go, uh, shown in the screen so you have to enter this car start x and just click to enter so it will going to start the desktop of this linux So as you can see in the screen, the desktop of this Linux has been starting up over here. And as you can see the mouse cursor appear on the screen. The mouse is not working if it's happening. So you have to just zoom in the screen and the mouse will start working as you can see like this. And the desktop is starting up here. And it's loading, uh, loading the wallpaper, all the uh, icons of this Linux. Uh, so as you can see the Linux has been started up here. So let me just hide the keyboard and let me just turn the uh, Android phone screen to get the better review and better understanding for you all. Uh, so as you can see this is the Linux and as you can see it's a very old model of the Linux. And here it will be in the English language. You can create the new folder, uh, new terminal the linux is very popular for the terminal so let me just open the terminal software to show you whether it's working or not with using terminal you can uh, do a lot of things in the linux the people who know about this so as you can see this is the terminal software perfectly open up here and as you can see this is the very old version uh, of the linux so it have a lot of preloaded softwares the basic uh, computer software like calculator dictionary uh, preloaded games, graphics, the GIMP software, the internet for Mozilla Firefox. I already told you the internet will work in every Linux, but this is the very old version of the Linux, so some web some website will not going to open uh, in this Linux. There are a lot of preloaded software over so as you can see in the screen. So, so let me just open any program. So let me just open this. Uh, and I already told you this is the very old version of the uh, Linux so it have some uh, very old software so it will saying starting some spreadsheet so as you can see this is the uh, like Excel for this Linux then as you can see you can make documents in this so this is the old version of the Linux so you can try uh, to test it out so you can't use it for nowadays but there are a lot of linux you can use nowadays ubuntu and mint linux i've already shown my youtube channel so this is the old version so you can try you out and get the experience of this uh, old linux version so that's it for this video thanks for watching please subscribe to my channel like this video share this video if you have any question or problem let me know in the comments thank you